Hello everyone, Mr. Montgomery again. Today we're on lesson five in unit eleven. And uh you know, today might actually you might even say perhaps it's kind of an easy lesson and you might get through it super fast. Uh just just saying. Just saying, that's a little prediction of mine. Alright. So first things first, let's make sure we have our robot turtle book open to page four hundred and sixty-nine. If you do not have your robot turtle book open to this page, pause the video. Hit the space bar, make sure you have that page open first, and then when you're all set, hit the space bar again and play the video. If the video is still playing right now, I'm going to guess you have your page open and ready, and we're just going to get started. Alright, oh, okay, now I have a nice clean page. Let's see what they want us to do today. It says, suppose you have 89 trading cards. Like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. Just saying, that, that's what came to my mind. Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. They're trading card games, right? And how many cards would 10 more be? How many cards would 10 less be? Guys, we've already done stuff like this before. And there's two main ways we can solve a problem like this. So pretty much what they're saying is if we were to write two number sentences, they want to know what eight, when they say what is 10 more, that means they're saying 89 plus 10. What does that equal? And then for 10 less, they're saying what is 89 minus, oh, fix that, 89 minus 10. That's all they're really saying. And the cool thing is, if you wanted to, you could just use very quick mental math because the only number that's changing is the tens place. So 8 plus 1, you guys know what that is. And then you just bring the 9 on over. That's all you would really do. So that's the really quick mental math way. And same thing for subtraction. 8 minus 1. What is 8 minus 1? That's your tens place number. Then bring the 9 over. Uh, so I'll just do a top one to show you guys. So 8 plus 1, that's a 9 in the tens place. And 9 and 0, that's just 9. So 99. But maybe mental math is a little tricky, which is okay. That happens. And let me just make a little bit more space. And there's a couple ways we can solve this. So the first way we could solve this is with a quick picture. So just by using our 10 sticks and our 1 circles. So if we have 89, let's draw the number 89. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tens. Whew, that's a lot. And then how many 1s? 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So we drew the number 89. And then if we want to add a 10, you just add another 10 stick and then you count the total. That's it. That's all there is. So if we count it, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tens. And then our 9 ones didn't change, so they stay 9. And there is, of course, another way that we could use to solve this problem. I know a lot of us like to use a 100 chart, which we could totally do. Let's check it out on the 100 chart really, really quick. Okay, here's our 100 chart. First thing we do is we find the number 89, which is right here. Okay, and now when we add 10, all we do is jump down one row because we're getting towards the bigger numbers. And remember, every time you jump down a row, you're adding 10. So since we're just adding one 10, you jump down one time. And then if we were to do the opposite and subtract, well, we're not going to jump down because we're not going to make the number bigger. We're going to jump up one towards the smaller numbers. 
And then that's all there is. That's all we're going to do for using the 100 chart. So if we could even pick the number 57 and say, what is 10 more? Well, you jump down one for 10 more, we're at 67. And then for 10 less, you jump up one towards the smaller numbers and you land on 47. That's it. It's pretty, dare I say, easy. It's, I, think, I feel like that's just, uh, don't, just don't overthink it. That's the only thing. Don't overthink this, guys. It's, it's not here to trick you. I'm not trying to trick you. I promise. All right, so you can draw a picture or use a 100 chart, or if you're just really good at mental math, you can do that too. So let's go through 89 minus 10. Let's see what we would do if we were to draw a picture for this one. So let's draw the number 89. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we draw our nine circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right. Now, guys, if you need to pause the video at any point to catch up with the drawing, please do so. I don't want this to move too fast for you. But I am just guessing that you're drawing along with me, so I'm just going to keep moving. But if at any time you need to pause, feel free to pause the video. All right. So we drew our number 89. We have our eight tens and nine ones. Now, when we take away a 10, all we do is cross one out. That's it. And then we do not count this one when we find our, our new total. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens. And then how many ones? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 79. So now we we did this a couple different ways. So we uh, went through a quick mental math way where you just add the tens together, and then you just bring this nine on over because there's no other ones that you're adding, so it stays the same. Because the only number that's changing is the tens place. Just don't forget that. Well, we're saying ten more, ten less. The only number that change is this tens place. That's all. Uh, so there's the mental math way, if you really go with that. There is the drawing method, right? Where you just either add another 10 stick or you cross out a 10 stick. And then last, there is the, the 100 chart. Where you just find the number. When you're adding 10, you jump down one row. Because every time we jump down a row, we get bigger by 10. And then if we want to take away 10, we jump up one row. All right. And uh, if you guys remember my little trick for knowing how many jumps, I just look at the number in the tens place. There's a one. So that will tell me that on this 100 chart, we just make one jump. And boom, right there. 10 less than 89 is 79. And then that's it. All right. So... I don't want to waste too much time on this first problem. Let's jump on over to the next page because I have, I just have that feeling that you guys are going to be getting this so fast. So let's go over to the next page. All right, so we're on page 470, 470 now. Okay, and I thought it'd be fun to try this little convince me. So it says right here, explain why the tens digit changes when you subtract 10 from 76. So a way we could say this is 76 minus 10. Let's try to solve this one. And also, why on earth is the tens place the only one that changes? So real quick, in your book, write something down. Write why. Tell me why it changes. Why isn't the, the ones place changing? Huh? How come that's not totally changing? It's just this tens place from 76. I'll give you guys a moment. Write down why only the tens place in the number 76 changes when you take away 10. Give you guys a little clue right there. Uh, 
from what I underlined, I don't want to say too much, but I just I gave you guys a little clue. It'd be really cool if you just wrote down a very short explanation so I can test your knowledge. Okay, now if you're still writing, that's cool. Keep on writing. If you're all done, we're going to solve this together and, and figure out why the tense place is the only place that is changing. All right, so let me get rid of this question mark. And uh, we can draw a quick picture. Sure. Let's do that. So we can draw number 76. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we drew our tens. And now we have to draw our ones, which is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because remember, when we do our drawings, we just draw our total number and then. We're going to just take away whatever they tell us to, right? So they're saying take away 10. We can cross out a 10. And we are left with six tens now. And then six ones. Why do we have six tens instead of seven tens now? Because in the number 10, there is only a number or there's only a digit that changes things in the tens place. Because look, in the ones place, there's just a zero. There's nothing there. A zero means that there is nothing. But we totally have a number in our tens place, which is called, which is what makes that number change. That's it. Okay. Uh, I just thought that would be a really fun one to do. And plus, it's a little extra practice. I'm always loving to do extra practice. Okay. And... Let's go through number one super duper quick. I'm just going to erase that really quick. Doot, 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 doot. Okay. So what they did was they wrote out the problem 26 minus 10. And they did a lot of work for us by giving us a really cool picture. So what they did was they took the number 26 and they drew it as a picture. We have two full 10 frames and then six circles in the last 10 frame making 26. We have because we have two tens and then six ones left over. And it, when we take away ten, well, since there's ten red dots in a full ten frame, all they had to do was cross out one of these full ten frames, and then we just count what's left. How many tens do we have left? Well, we have one full ten frame left, so we have a one in the tens place. And then the six uh, ones that were left over, they don't change. So they stay right there. So now we have 26 minus 10 is 16. And if you notice, the only thing that they did was really change the tens place here. 2 minus 1 is 1. And then the 6 just gets brought on over. Because we're just doing 10 less. We're not changing the ones place. Uh, go ahead and try number two on your own. All right. Try that one on your own really quick. Then we'll go over it together. All right. If you're still working on number two, that's okay. Pause the video. Take your time and work through it. If you're all done. Let's check your work. Okay, so we have the number 32 as our total, and they drew the number 32 with 10 frames. We have three tens and one 10 frame that just has two, so 32. And if we take away 10, we just cross out one of these 10 frames. Now let's count how many full 10 frames we have. We have one, two full 10 frames. So it's a two in the tens place. And then how many ones do we have left over? Two. So it's number 22. And again, if you want to use the mental math way, three minus one is two. And you just bring that two on over. Boom. That's it. All right. So guys, go ahead. Try number three really quick. And for this, they didn't give us a picture. So if you 
know the mental math way and you want to use that, go for it. If you need to draw a picture, you are more than welcome to do that. Or if you really want to use the hunter chart, you can do that too. Use what works best for you. All right, if you are still working, please continue to keep working. If you're all done, let's check our work and make sure that we're doing this correctly. All right, so we have 98 minus 10. So let's make a, uh, a quick picture with nine 10 sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have eight ones, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And if we take away 10, right, because it's minus 10, we just cross one of these sticks out. Then we just count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens. So we write eight in the tens place. And we still have the original eight ones from the beginning. So our answer is 88. Now if you want to use a 100 chart instead, we have the number 98. And when we take away 10, or if we want 10 less, right, that's how we can say it, we just jump up one towards the smaller numbers, we land on 88. You get the same answer either way. All right. So go ahead and try number four on your own too, and then we'll go over it together. All right, if you're still working on number four, please keep working on it. If you're all done, let's start going over it. Oh, don't forget about that pause button, guys. If you're still working, hit the pause button. All right, so if we have 44 minus 10, of course, we can draw our four 10 sticks. And then, because we had four 10s, and then we have four 1s. One, two, three, and four. And then if we take away 10, just cross one out. We now have one, two, three tens, and then four ones, 34. If we go to our 100 chart, we have 44. We just jump up one, and we land on 34. Because remember, if we want 10 less, we just jump up one row. That's it. All right, so I feel like we've had a good amount of practice. Let's go into our independent work. So if you're not in my class, please let your teacher know that the video is done and ask him or her what they would like you to do next. If you are in my class, let's go into our independent work and I will explain to you what we're doing today. All right, so for our independent work, click on our man in the blue box, go to class work, and then you'll see some assignments. The first one says 11-5, quick check. Next one says 11-5 extra practice. Okay, so the first ones are Savas questions. And then our next one, if you still have some time, if I'm still teaching, it's not much time yet, IXL has uh, some extra uh, challenging work that you can try to do. And I want you guys to try to get to 100% if you have time for this uh, assignment. Okay, and that's it. So I hope that these videos helps. I hope that today's lesson was kind of fun, maybe even kind of easy. And, you know, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and that's it. I, uh, I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you have a great day. See you later.